I know these little blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul. Are we surprised? We shouldn't be at this point. Value Village had another 50% off day sale for books, so you know your girl went running to that sale. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I picked up was solely based off of the author. I recently picked up another one of her books, All the Missing Girls, and I was like, hey, I know who that is. Let's buy it. <laughs> And it is The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda. Honestly, I don't know that much about this book other than it's a thriller and your girl loves herself some thrillers, so I bought it. The next book that I picked up was The Guest Room by Chris Bohajalian saying that way wrong. I picked up this book because I knew who the author was. He wrote The Flight Attendant, which was one of my most anticipated releases a couple months ago. And did I read it? No, but when I recognize authors, I just feel like I need to buy their books, so I did. But this book also sounds really fun. Well, not fun, because it's a murder, murder, stabby, stabby book. I like those books. It follows a couple who are about to be married, and then the husband has a bachelor party, and shit goes down at that bachelor party. Two people end up dead, and it's basically the police trying to figure out what actually happened that night, and the wife trying to figure out if she can trust her husband anymore, and you know, it just sounds like a grand old time to me. The next book that I have I was really surprised when I found it at the thrift store because it's a pretty popular book when it first came out and popular books are like never at the thrift store. It's usually like books that are like a couple years old. But needless to say, I was very excited when I found it. It is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. The sequel to this book is coming out this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't even know if I like this book or not, but it's been said to be similar to The Breakfast Club, but with murder, so I'm here for it. The next book that I picked up was, again, because of the authors. Um, it's Neil Barr and Jonathan Green, and it's called Kill Switch, but those two used to be the executive producers of Special Victims Unit, Law and Order, and I love Law and Order Special Victims Unit, so I picked it up solely based off of that reason. I have no idea what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's about a detective who takes on like really troubling cases, which makes sense because Law and Order, you know? But I'm excited. The next book that I have, I squealed when I found it at the thrift store because it was one of my most anticipated when it first came out, and I was like, I'm never gonna find it. Again, one of those popular books, never at the thrift store, but it was. It's the Favorite Sister by Jessica Knoll. I read The Luckiest Girl Alive by her and I think I gave it a 3.5. I thought it was really good. A lot of people don't like it, but I was like here for it. It follows these two sisters who are casted on a reality TV show showing entrepreneurship and like a lot of backstabbing and like enemies and yada yada yada, but I think it sounds super cool because one of them does not live through the taping and I want to know why. The next book I have is Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell and this follows a mother whose daughter goes missing and it's her trying to figure out what happened to her daughter and then she meets a man and she gets introduced to his daughter who looks strangely a lot like her daughter. So pew, is it her daughter? Is it not her daughter? We're gonna find out when we read. The next book I have solely based off of the author again but it is Five Ways to Fall by K.A. Tucker. This is like a contemporary new adult romancy book. It's about a girl who has a one night stand with a guy and then I'm assuming they're gonna fall in love. I mean that's usually what happens in these kinds of books but I'm excited because she has purple hair and your girl likes her some purple hair. The next book I have, again, solely based off of the author, it's Lindsay Cummings' The Murder Complex. This was like her debut novel. I can't remember if people said if it was good or not, but I read Zenith and I think I gave it a 3.5, like I liked it, but that was with Sasha Eilsberg. So now I'm curious to see what Lindsay's writing is alone, and I'm gonna try to figure out if I can figure out who wrote which chapter in Zenith. I want to know, so we're gonna... We're gonna see if I can tell. And then the final book I bought because I've seen the cover everywhere and a lot of people give it a 5 out of 5 stars. So I want to see if I'm gonna be part of the bandwagon or not, but it is Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I know that this is a fantasy book. That's really all I do know about it. I want to say that it's a retelling of a fairy tale, but I honestly have no idea. I've tried to like avoid 
what people say about it other than it's a 5 out of 5 stars. So I know that the sequel came out recently as well, that's Spinning Silver. So if you're interested in the sequel, now you know the name of it, which I'm sure you already did, but whatever. Alright guys, so that was my little book haul this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!